Hey guys, so I got a new one for you today. Uh, two things that I'm going to talk about. First off is I just got back from New York uh, working with my awesome people at Supercore. Uh, I worked at their, uh, their booth all weekend for the New York Abilities Expo. And for any of you guys, like... If you want to find out what's going on in the disabled community and products and really, really cool things, honestly, the Abilities Expo is the top uh, expo to go and see. Um, there's like six or eight of them around the country. Um, typically, I've, I've done all of them all around, um, but the, there's one in Los Angeles, there's one in Houston, there's one in New York, there's one in Chicago. Um, and then there's one in Florida in Fort Lauderdale now. Um, so they're kind of all over, but really, really cool place to go and touch and feel and, and check out a lot of the new stuff going on. Um, with that being said, I met up with the people at Spinergy Wheels and they, uh, they ended up sorting me out with a new wheel that they've got, a new wheel configuration that they've got going on. And this is the second thing. Um, and uh, what's going on is they're using a much smaller wheel with a really big Kenda knobby on it. And, and it ultimately equals out the same diameter as us that run a 25 inch wheel or a Mountain 26, uh, otherwise known as a 559. And that wheel with a typical, uh, like a street tire, you know, a, a, a small profile street tire on it, this Kenda setup and, and Spinergy setup is essentially the same diameter. So you can switch your wheels back and forth if you're going off-road or on-road, um, and it doesn't change the positioning of your chair, um, doesn't change any of those dynamics. Um, you may, however, have to adjust your wheel spacing out away from your chair a little bit to allow for the big knobby rubber. Um, the other thing that's going on with this wheel, and, and I'll show you guys here, um, is that the, the push ring is, is much smaller um, than your... Than, than the wheel actually is or or what would be normally on there um and and you guys can see these just bitchin bitchin tires um kenda has made incredible equipment um i've had a great relationship with them for a very very long time um and this wheel is it's considered a 24 inch um but it's actually a 507 not the the 540, I believe, is a is typically a, a 24 inch. Um, so it's it's a little different. Um, but to get back to to the the push ring, what is going on there is with the smaller push ring. Um, and I actually got to meet up with with another good friend of mine um, who works with Kessler Rehab over there in New Jersey. And he does a lot of stuff with like wheelchair, um, wheelchairs and, and like body mechanics and stress on your joints and, and things like that. And him and I got into the discussion about having that smaller push ring and what does that do for you? Is it a benefit? Is it a, is it a drawback? Where, where are we at? And so that's where I'm going to do some testing there, some real world testing in the smaller push ring will essentially give you more torque from the start, but you, and, and so that essentially should relieve the stress on your joints, but you are now pushing more repetitions to do the same amount of work or same distance. So, where does it where does this become a good thing bad thing um and and so follow along in in future uh videos i will be going back on this and and kind of giving an idea of what i feel um I, this is not science 
Uh, I don't have the testing equipment um, to actually do like muscle stress and things like that. This is purely just on an old man's body that is doing work. Um, and you can see Nala approves. Um, anyway, uh, so keep an eye out on this and, and I'll let you know what I find out. Um, but go and check out the Abilities Expo. Check out Kenda Tires. Check out Spinergy Wheels. These guys, honestly, I will tell you, they make the most bulletproof wheel. Um, and, and I have always been impressed by their equipment. Um, and, and I have such a good relationship with them. Um, just really, really good people. Um, so, oh, and the other thing too is, I, I think I've talked about it in, in previous videos. Um, this is another thing that I'm trying. I already really, really love their, what they call their TC push ring, um, which is like tactile control or something like that. Um, it basically has a, like a texture to it. Um, this texture is absolutely amazing for grip. Um, and they're made from stainless steel, which <laughs> has really cool benefits so far. Um, I found that it does not hold temperature, either hot or cold, very much at all, um, especially being here in Phoenix um, and spending my time up in Montana too. Um, both sides, cold and hot. Um, it, it does not, I have not scratched these and I've ground them against like concrete curbs and, and things like that. They do not scratch. It's been amazing. Um, and the little interesting uh, sort of byproduct from it, um, they talk about this this texturing that they put into the, the, the material um, as it's for grip. But I've found it's kind of like this interesting little like hand massage as you're rolling down the road and you just set your, your palms against it and it kind of rubs in your palms. It's it, Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But... Very, very cool product. Um, I suggest them on all chairs. They are a little bit heavier than your typical aluminum push ring, but they handle a lot more abuse. They're a lot more comfortable. And they've actually come out with, I think it's, and I'm sorry, I think it's called the, the TC Max. And this is a, a sort of an oblonged profile to it. Um, and um, so it gives more surface area to grab a hold of. And for someone who doesn't have maybe as good a grip um, it, or bigger hands like myself, um, this makes a huge, huge benefit. Um, so I'm interested to try the, the TC Max now. I've used the TC push rings for like three years and I love them. Absolutely love them. So I know this is a longer video than, than normal. Had a couple things to talk about. But keep an eye on this. Um, again, Spinergy Wheels. This is their 18 spoke. Um, it's the SLX, I believe, um, in a 507, or they're calling it a 24. Um, so, gonna rock and roll with these um, and uh, just have some fun. So you guys go out there, have some fun, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.